Baroque architecture was characterized by much ornamentation and fantastically over-decorated. It is said to have the style of music characterized by highly embellished melodies and fugal or contrapuntal forms. The Church of Jesu is the mother church of the Society of Jesus. Its facade is the first Turi Baroque facade, introducing the Baroque style into architecture. The church served as a model for innumerable Jesuit churches all around the world. Baroques appear to many people's imagination rather than intellect. This is really a delight for both the senses and the mind because there is a sense of focus and it is not a complicated space. The church's enormous ceiling is reflected in a mirror to portrait the great fresco design covering the whole building. Here we have is not just a sky that goes to infinite with clouds, but it is a heaven. The model design is ambiguous. Don't know whether we are looking at a shading up there or paintings, wondering the sheriffs and angels are made of solid materials or painted. In fact, the fresco is standard out of the bottles like stitch set and actually covering part of the folding of the ceiling. This is the church triumphant. If someone rejects the name of Jesus, those are the figures who are falling out of the sky into shade and hell. The main altar of Jesu church is dominated by four columns under a neoclassical pediment. The IHS monogram as an interpretation of the letters of Jesus' name. The ceiling of the apse is adorned by the painting Glory of the Mystical Lamb by Giovanni. The larger St. Francis Xavier Chapel in the right transept was designed by Petro de Cortona. The polychromatic marbles enclose a stucco relief representing Francis Xavier welcomed to heaven by angels. The arches are decorated with scenes from the life of the saint, including apotheosis of the saint in the center, crucifixion, saint laws at sea, and the baptism of an Indian princess. The imposing and luxurious Saint Ignatius Chapel is located on the left side of the transept. It is also the church masterpiece, designed by Andrew Pozzo between 1996 and 1700. The altar by Pozzo shows the trinity on top of the group. The lapis lazuli, representing the earth, is thought to be the largest piece in the world, but is actually mortal, craftily decorated. <laughs>